one of the most frustrating things I've ever experienced is a glare in my glasses. But if you notice, I don't have one. And I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing so that your videos aren't distracting with glare in your glasses with three easy tips. So I recently did a shoot in San Diego and I had to resort to some older frames that were able to not have the glare in the glasses because there's something that's in there and you may not be aware of it. And that's the first tip, which is an anti-reflective coating. Now, thankfully my new pair have come in now so I can use these, but an anti-reflective coating is something that they do to my understanding in the process when they're giving you your prescription, they put this coating on there or what have you. So whether you are on your computer or there's lights or things, like that they're not as bright and distracting so if you don't have those that's when you really notice that you're getting a lot of glare everything that you see is kind of reflecting back in the glasses for me it just made sense to order a new pair of glasses because again to my understanding i found that they can't really do an effective job on your current pair it's just better to get new lenses and i'll have a link in the description where you can get uh, a new pair but i'll talk about that a little bit later but let's get to tip number two Tip number two is actually remove the things that are in the shot that are causing the glare. For me, that meant really taking into consideration what is something for the angle that I'm sitting at the camera that's actually showing and reflecting back in the glasses. So that could be a phone screen, that could be a computer screen. And even if I have a white background or something like that on the monitor, so if I open up my email and you notice like it's a, a white bit of a glare here, and then if I go to a darker theme, then that's removed. So there are some things that you can do as far as that, but if going to like a dark theme in your browsers aren't really helpful, if you don't even like those, then one of the things that I did was just re-angle my computer monitors so that they are not directly forward and centered to my glasses, but slightly angled off to the side. But let's go to tip number three. Tip number three is gonna be light placement. Most creators and entrepreneurs, if you're just kind of like setting up your studio, try to make it look nice and actually work with the space that you have. But you really wanna think about light placement if you have glasses that don't have an anti-reflective coating and you're trying to mitigate that. So what I recommend is increasing the height and then moving the light at about a 45 degree angle so that it's not front and center, but when you just naturally move, it should be off and to the right. And that's what I do. I have one light that's here and another one that's to the side. The other thing is consider if you're using natural light, maybe putting some tint on your windows. There are some things that you can use that will let you coat the window with a little bit of a tint that's removable. And so I'll put a link to a, a kit that I use down below, but that can be super helpful just in trying to deal with the light placement and controlling the light in your environment. So bonus tip, here's what I would say if you're really still finding it a challenge, even after you have used maybe some of the tips that I have talked about, and that's really would just be get a new pair of glasses. Now, depending on what your prescription is, that can seem expensive. I went with a company called Zenny that I have a referral link down below if you wanna check it out for a little bit of a discount. I just found that it made sense to get a pair of glasses that I could use for videos that are gonna have a reflective coating. I don't know what that may be for you depending on your prescription, but it was very, very cost effective and for sure, under $50 to get a fantastic pair of glasses that are very similar to these other frames that I use that cost way more. And they're, I mean, like they're very, very similar about 90% of what these are. And even though the tests feel weird, like they'll have you put a credit card or something on your forehead, it worked out and the frames aren't like too wide or they're really perfect. So I would just recommend maybe consider getting a pair of glasses that you for sure can use that has the anti-reflective coating so you don't have to do a ton of other stuff when it comes to your videos. And I found this to be a very cost-effective method, so check that out down below. So let me know in the comments down below if that's something that you've been dealing with and maybe you'll consider getting a new pair or try some of these tips out for you. But it worked fantastic for my trip to San Diego using the Sony ZV-1. And if you wanna know some great travel-friendly hacks, if you are using a camera like the ZV-1 or something similar, even your phone, then you definitely wanna check out the, those accessories that I use because it was was a game changer.